Wake up with Jerry Nick right here at 1220 WKRS. Hey, it does me great pleasure to have my good-looking, big-eyed friend in here this morning, <laughs> Carly Larson <laughs> from, from, the headlights on. <laughs> <laughs> from the Caring Heart. Oh, my goodness. Carly, how are you doing, sweetheart? Good morning. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. You look very nice Can today. I grab that or no? Are you not sharing? Sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this one I'm going to hold it. Chapter 7, guys. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we got Carly Larson in here from The Caring Heart. And you do wonderful things and you do a lot of promotional stuff. And you guys are going to be out at Austin's uh, Fuel Room on Sunday, correct? Yes. Uh, April is Autism Awareness Month. And on Sunday, we have a benefit. Uh, Breaking the Silence 3, supporting Autism Society of Illinois. Uh, very excited. This is a cause close to my heart. And in here today, we have a great bunch of guys and our headliner for the night, Valeside. Ron Thomas and his wife, Jean, are the heart and soul behind Breaking the Silence 3, so he can tell you a lot more. All right. Well, welcome to the show, guys. We appreciate you yeah, guys coming we, in. This is the first time we've had a gospel group on the show. <laughs> we just appreciate you choir, bringing choir, us choir. to a new level. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. All right. And your name, sir? My name is Ron Thomas. All right. Ron, uh, and you're, you're the lead uh, guy? Your guy? That you're uh, no. Actually, me and my wife started this benefit three years ago for okay. my son. He has autism. Okay. And uh, we started raising funds for awareness. Uh, how old's your boy? Uh, he is 11. Okay, I have I have a nephew that uh, has autism, so I mean, I, I, again, this is near and dear to us mm -hmm. as it's, well. It's near and dear to a lot of people, sir. You know, it's, it's a unfortunately it's a common thing right now. I think I think it is, and and I think I think bringing light to this, people need to know a little bit about autism. Um, when did you realize your son had autism? We started noticing uh, right around the average time everyone's supposed to about three years old. Right. But he didn't get officially diagnosed, to believe it or not, a few months ago. No kidding. <laughs> Yeah, it's society, and it's how, how it happens, and you know, he also has a seizure disorder, so they took a little more care into diagnosing that, and just, you know, it kind of masked all the autism things that were going on, so. Yeah. And, and I tell you, as parents, too, it's kind of tough to realize, uh, actually, you know, how to, how to handle it. Did, did somebody help you realize exactly what autism is and everything like that? You know what? Uh, at the time, it was mostly me and my wife. We, we researched it more than anything. Right. Doctors kind of, like, pushed it off, and everyone kind of pushed it off. And so we just took it upon ourselves to use all the resources we had at the time and look into it. And that's how we became so strong in this benefit. Oh, very good. And let's talk about the benefit. You guys are going to be out at Austin's Fuel Room uh, Sunday. What time is that at? Starts at noon. All right. Starts at noon. Yeah, and what's the cover to get in and see you guys? Ten dollar donation at the door. Everything goes to the Autism Society of Illinois. Very um, cool. You guys aren't making a dime. You guys and you, and you, you none of the bands. You've talked to your um, guys into uh, going in there with you, and you're not paying them nothing. No one's getting paid. Oh, there's four bands donating their time, efforts. They're even donating merchandise to the Autism Society, and they are actually selling it and getting all the funds from it. How it's cool is that? Oh, that is yeah. awesome, you guys. Yeah. Great job. All right, yeah. let's talk about your band a little bit. Uh, introduce some of your band members here. Your, your name, young man? I'm Tony Engel, lead vocals. Hey, hey, Tony, and your name, sir? Uh, my name is Russ O'Dean, I play guitar. All right, and, and you are? You know me, Ron Thomas, I'm the drummer. <laughs> all right. John Ben Lamenti, guitar. All right. Do I have to say my real name? <laughs> 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 Look, you know what? Don't worry. Walk Pete and Pete. Abe Froman, <laughs> come on. Tell them who you are. Abe <laughs> Froman, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Hilton, bass. All right, how did you guys get started, man? Wow. Well, this in, this uh, version of the band's been together since uh, 2007. Okay. Um, and yeah, we started a couple years before that. Me and John here uh, started out, got Bob after that. Had a different singer. Um, he went on in separate ways. We stopped for a while. And then uh, found Tony <laughs> and said, hey, let's redo this. All right, let's, talk, let's talk about some of the music. A lot, of, a lot of the music you guys are doing is your, is your own stuff, right? All original. Uh, all original. original. Who, who's some of the guys you looked up to uh, when you were young guys, you know, just starting out in bands and everything? Who kind of inspired some of you guys? Don't you? Uh, for you me, man, it's classic rock, Zeppelin, you know. Big I was Jimmy waiting for you man. to say Gershwin again. <laughs> 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 yeah, big classic rock guy, Jimi Hendrix. And that kind of stuff, you know. All right, anybody else? I'm, I'm a huge fan of Def Leppard, Guns really? N' Roses. So. Uh, yeah, it's just an odd mix of music. We're all into everything, you know. Yeah, I obviously grew together. up in the hair metal scene, but, you know, I listened to Jazz Fusion growing up all my life, and cool. we'd listen to Prince. We'd sit in the studio and listen to, we'll listen to a Lady Gaga, whatever's on the radio. So it's Lady Gaga. Yeah. Lady Gaga! Yeah. Yeah. We'll listen to whatever, whatever, whatever's rolling. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> we'll 
only Ron would drop a Lady Gaga. Yeah, right. <laughs> I got to. <laughs> so you guys have been together for what? Five, six, seven, eight, nine years now, and you guys are playing all over the place. If somebody wants to get a hold of you guys or something like that, what is the uh, best way to get a hold of you guys? Is there on our website? Just grab you. Hey, now Bob's okay with that. Bob's okay with that. Bob's totally cool with grab. It's uh, com. All right, very cool. Now yeah. watch it, bass players. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you better move to that side of the room. <laughs> I got to ask you, too. Um, you guys are... Look, you guys ride motorcycles at all? Uh, uh, you're the only one, all right. I mean, you guys, you, you do as well. Yeah. And what product do you guys use on your hair? I mean, you guys look good. You guys have some product. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby Field Special Pantene. Uh, okay. <laughs> some Cadorva wax or something. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> when, when you guys are sitting down writing music, how does that kind of work with you guys? And does one guy kind of have an idea and you guys kind of sit down or what? Or, or what? How's that, how does that work? It comes in all different directions, you know. Sometimes we're just inspired. Uh, for instance, you know, we had a song in the last CD that was a song called "Smile." Okay. Total, totally just inspired. We just kind of sat down and wrote it in the studio in, the, in one night. Yeah, you know how to do uh, that. Well, yeah, yeah. Get his head in there. <laughs> <laughs> there I'm Michael over here. Come on, Tony. Help now. I'm over here. Yeah, and that's how it is. You know, John will bring an idea, and you know, me and Tony write a lot of the lyrics, and we'll just throw it all together and get in the room and just get inspired. So who, who's who's like writing the music and stuff like that? I mean, do you, do you hear the music first and, and then the lyrics, or how, how does that kind of how, do how does it work with you guys? A lot, a lot of times it works out like that, where John will come in with a riff idea, or Russ will come in with an idea, and basically, whatever I'm feeling on it is, or Ron's feeling on it is kind of how we come up with lyrics around it. Generally, you start with the emotion and you build it from there. Everything yep. starts on an acoustic guitar and it does. vocals in. Yeah, everything. I start everything on acoustic. Very cool. Yeah. All right. What What are some of the songs you guys are going to be singing out at Austin's? What Or what, what's one of your favorite tune that you guys have put together? Oh, what do you think? Well. Uh, uh, my turn on the new CD uh, was written about SIDS. Okay. Um, last year we did a, uh, I mean, Valeside works with a lot of children's charities. Mm -hmm. uh, last year we worked for Headstones uh, for Angels Foundation, which tries to get uh, uh, tombstones for children that pass away so unexpectedly. Nobody really prepares for those kind of costs. Uh, Russ's friend lost a uh, child after only a few months. And, oh, right. uh, uh, he was inspired and wrote the song, and, and that's probably my favorite. I mean, it's emotional. It's kind of, it's got a lot of power to it. Man, I mean, do a lot of people know this is what you guys are doing? I mean, they see a, a big, a hairy metal band guys out there, and you guys got heart, man. You really uh, do. Well, the first thing is we're friends first, man. Right. right. That's that's what it boils down to. A lot of bands, you know, they leave the, where they're playing. They don't see each other till the next time they come around. We're at each other's houses, kids' party parties. Every, everywhere we go, we go to conventions. We fly together. Well, friends first, and then it's music, and that's that helps a lot. Very yeah. cool. If somebody wants to get your your CD and stuff, how how can they get that? It'll, it'll be available on the website uh, within the next week or two. So, uh, Are you guys going to have any of those out there this weekend at, at Austin's as well? They'll be there this weekend, and uh, it'll, the donation will go straight to the Autism Society, so you won't be paying the band when you buy it this weekend. If you're going to get the CD, great time to get it this weekend because all the funds are going to go straight. To Very cool. Kelly, I know you wanted to add something. Go ahead. Uh, I just want to say that this Sunday it is all ages also, yeah. so you can bring the whole family, come a little early, have lunch at Austin's. There's great food. Uh, these guys, like Jerry said, are really good people. When they call you to help, they're going to do the same for you. So come out, make a difference with the Autism Society in Illinois, all these children and families that really need our help. $10 for rock and bands, about 12 to 8, and I guarantee a great time. Yeah, I also want to give a quick shout out to the other bands. We got Love Blast playing it. Okay. Uh, Send in the Clones and Lynch, and they're all f another great bands that are family. Good they're people. all close to our yeah. heart and all close to autism. Okay, uh, real quick again, guys. Mm -hmm. I know you guys are busy. And we got we got to go to traffic and everything. All right, that's this Sunday. And what time? What time does it go? Uh, uh, start. Door, doors are twelve. Music's going to start around one thirty. What time are you guys going to be playing? Uh, we play right around five. Around five o'clock. Yeah. All right, you guys, I really appreciate you coming in. And the name of the band one more time is Vailside. Vailside. And I tell you what, and you can hear it. You'll be able to see the video up on our site. And we'll Carly, watch talk to you, Jerry. I figure. <laughs> hang on. Here's Carly again. It's Tony's birthday today. Yeah. So Yay! Yay! Tony, how old are you, sweetheart? Uh, 21. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, SOB I'm too. Wait, I'm wait to see the video. You know that's <laughs> true. <laughs> yeah. You handsome devil. All right, Nelson, thanks for coming in this morning. We really appreciate great. it. Thank you. Thank you, you so much for out there this Sunday, Austin's Fuel Room. I tell you what, it's a great cause. Every penny is going to autism. So, you know what? Everybody can make a difference. So, get out there this Sunday and see these guys. Thanks again for coming in, you guys. Thanks for having us. Thank you.